another little guy bite. Down again. I know. It would be expensive. Yeah, this guy right here just. <laughs> it was a, it was a trout. I think he messed. I think the little guy messed around enough and got mom up here. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Ooh, <wait>. <laughs> <laughs> that was not on the line. <laughs> that was not. That was not what was uh, taken at it first. <laughs> that's awesome. Boy, that's a pretty one. All right, guys. Well. Welcome back to Low Country Fishing. I'm out here doing a little bit of uh, trout fishing this morning with Billy, and ba bam, <laughs> we just got this uh, this girl here. I got the voodoo shrimp on underneath the cork right now, just to make it easy, to be honest. And uh, we we're getting picked at some little little trash fish. We're hitting pick, 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 and then I just let them keep picking at it. And then finally, it got the attention of this big old girl. She came on over. This is every bit of a uh, 17 inch trout here. And she wanted it. She gobbled it all the way down. So I'll get the pliers out and get that uh, out of her mouth. But we're going to keep a few fish today. And this is definitely number one. All right, so the wind finally laid down, which is good. But the bite has not been the best, to be honest. Uh, we really only kind of got that one trout. A couple little bites here and there, but just hasn't been overly consistent. So I've got a really good live shrimp spot right over here. And uh, me and Billy are going to roll over there net some live bait and then come back out to these uh, general types of areas and see if we can maybe turn this day around because I do want to keep a couple of trout for dinner tonight. So let's go get some bait. All right, so we went on a little bit of a live bait rampage here. Let me show you what I got in this net. Oh, mullet, croaker, we got everything in here. It was a good, it was a good haul for sure. All right, here we go, a little live shrimp action. Just gonna hook this guy right here under the horn, just like 10 million people do. And that's just a little trout eye. Little eye strike, trout eye. And right out here in front of me, I've got some shells. And I'm gonna see if there's any trout home. Give that a couple clicks here. Oh, look at that, we're down already. <laughs> First. Oh, and it's a good one too. First cast, Billy. That never happens. She's keeping me pinned down pretty good, too. Come on in. Let's get the yeet. Yeet! There's a male trout. Grunting away. <laughs> I hear you, buddy. I want to be careful you're... You're right on that, right on that edge. So I'm fishing in Georgia today, guys, and these trout in Georgia have to be a minimum of 14 inches to keep. And this guy is 13 inches, 13, seven, eight inches. This is what we call a ticket. We're gonna let that ticket go. Hand me the blue, as you walk by, the little blue scissors underneath the steering wheel. Yeah. I'm gonna trim this guy's tail. Big, big trout in the neighborhood. I'm going for him. All right, so I'll take this mullet and I'll remove her tail and float her through like that. So she's kind of in a little bit of a panic state, giving off some good vibrations. Let's see if that'll get me a big bite. Big bite. There we are. Stay pinned, baby. There we go. On the live mullet. This feels like some good weight. Uh, she's coming in. I'm going to flip her. She's Here she is. Oh! oh dude, let's yeah. go. Let's go, baby. Woo. Okay, I'll take her out. <laughs> I'm glad I grabbed the net. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm glad I didn't try to boat flip that fish. Holy 20. Dang, big girl. <laughs> oh man. I wanted a I wanted a bigger fish, so I was throwing that mullet and holy cow, holy, holy big trout city. On a trout eye. Imagine that. Big trout on ah, trout eye. Easy girl. Easy. You're gonna have to go back. You're gonna go back, but not before I get my picture with you. All right, how about that for a nice big trout? I'm gonna keep the bogus on her because I don't want to damage her, but yeah, she's another healthy 18 and a half on a big old mullet. You guys saw that mullet. I just cut that tail off that girl, so let's go ahead and get her back in the water here. There she goes. All right, so I got another four inch mullet out of the live well when I had knocked that little tail down. It's a quarter ounce eye strike trout eye. Uh, the leader length is about 18 inches on that four horseman cork. Now this uh, mullet here is pretty much the same size mullet that I used when I caught that big 28, I think she was right, 28 inch uh, redfish a couple weeks ago in that little teeny tiny creek that you guys saw. So we're gonna throw it back over here again. Um, the mindset again with this is Throw a big bait and see if you can get a big fish. We kept getting picked by little tiny, uh, smaller trout on these uh, these shrimp back here. And man, just as soon as I switched over, I drifted this thing twice. And on the third cast, she gulped it down. Down again. Oh, got off. Oh, she's back. <laughs> yeah! <laughs> Come on, that's another big one, Billy. That's another good one, buddy. <laughs> they are. Boy, they are stacked right there. Stacked. There we go. Oh, that's a big one. That's another good one, man. These big girls have completely shown up. Yeah. <laughs> Let's go, buddy. <laughs> big mullet. You can take that out. I got her. Woo. I'm going to set her down right here. Got it. You can drop yep. me out. Yep. Oh, boy. Oh, she just broke me off. No problem. Holy big girl, you're about as big as the last one. All right, easy there, chunky monkey. Actually, you might be bigger. Yeah, that's 19. <laughs> How about that? Beautiful 19 inch trout. And you guys, these fish are thick, extremely thick. I should have just kept the camera rolling, honestly. She hit it on that, uh, that very first cast. We'll get her back in, man. What an awesome trout day we're building on right here. All right, so here's a little glimpse into my tackle box for those of you that haven't got a chance to see it in my older videos. This is the Groove Fishing Products. It's uh, called the Big Jig Box. Holds all your jig heads nice and organized like this. And uh, for those of you that are wondering where all these eye strikes are coming from, I am sponsored by them. I'm on the team. And I do have a lot of these because of that. So here's what we're going to do. So instead of throwing a trout eye, there's big trout over here over my shoulder. I'm going to step the hook size up just a little bit. And this is their swim bait eye. The swim bait eye is uh, slightly bigger. It's a 3 0 hook instead of a 2 watt hook. And I'm just going to go with the same, about a quarter ounce in weight. And it's just going to give me a slightly wider gap profile here and a little bit of a longer shank. And I'm going to go right back to throwing that little cut tail mullet. Got him. Smaller guy. Yeah. yeah. Oh, he's still following up. Oh. He's at it. Yeah, <laughs> I saw that, baby. <laughs> yeah. I don't know if he's looking good. Yeah, he is. Hanging out of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> that was amazing, bro. So I don't know if you guys just saw that. He was reeling that fish in. It was a little small croaker, and she dropped it. And uh, he stopped for just a second, and I watched her come right back up, boom, and eat again. How big is that fish? Ooh, I would say just a little bit smaller, 16. Okay, let's keep her, and I'll put one. I'll put that 18 and a half back. Breaks my heart to keep a big fish. All right, so here's something you don't see every day. So what I'm doing here is uh, I'm going to let go this one that's in my hand. She's the one that was about 18 and a half. Because I just, just can't keep the big ones like that, man. Something about it. I'd rather have like three 16s and let those big ones stay out there and keep uh, producing eggs and stuff like that. Especially because Billy's not keeping fish and I'm not interested really in freezing fish either. That was what, three big 18s that we pulled out of here? Three, yeah. Oh, I'm down. Got one. Oh, that's a good one. Got one. Yeah, that's a netter. 
So they, they switch to the back side. They are moving around on us. Come on, big girl. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> dude! Let's go! <laughs> Big trout city. She is a long girl. Oh man! Thanks, buddy. Let me get her down here. <laughs> wow! I think she might win the longest award of the day. Look at that fish! Wow! There you go. Now, I'm six foot two, so my hands are a little bigger than the average. Just to show you kind of what that fish looks like holding her up. I ain't mad at that. <laughs> Another thick one too. They loving that mullet. All right, here we go. Okay, baby. See ya. All right, fellas, well, I'm back at the house. I got the boat all cleaned up, and now it's time to just really relax for the rest of the day and wait for the wife and kids to come home. Now, today was really a success. I had a game plan of going out originally and just trying to target trout, wanted to hit some trout drops in and around the sound, and you guys, we did exactly that. Now, I'll tell you two things. One, the day did not get good until we pulled out the, uh, the cast net and netted our own live bait. I'm an artificial jig slinger like I know some of you guys are that are out there as well. And fellas, there comes a time and a place when you really need to just put the fake stuff up, go grab some live bait, however that may be, and just start throwing a live bait. The fish today were not responding to artificials. If you guys saw in last week's video, I went on a red fish rampage with artificials and it was just flat out getting it done. I didn't have to lean on live bait. Well, when you get in situations like we did today where we were catching small trout, or we were just fishing good areas where fish should be and we weren't getting anything, you gotta decide to uh, kind of pull the plug on the artificial game plan and switch over to, uh, to feeding fish with live bait. And that's exactly what we did and we had a great time doing it in the process. Now, the second thing I wanted to mention is you guys saw me throw back uh, quite a few big fish. Fellas, that is something that I do on the regular. I try to just keep fish that are in a specific range like that 15 to 17 inch range when it comes to trout. Any trout that start getting close to that 18 and a half to 19 inch range, those are our big female breeding trout. Those trout are releasing, you know, millions of eggs in an annual spawning cycle. So just something to think about. You want to keep a robust fishery. It, it's up to us anglers to uh, really set limits on ourselves to release those bigger fish like that so they will continue to lay eggs and make our fishery exactly what it is. So uh, just a couple things to think about and that's really it. Thank you guys so much for support. I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did, Hit that thumbs up on the way out and I'll see you next week. Take care everyone and God bless.